Hi guys, so I uploaded a video recently where I was talking about how Nissan um, were planning to stay in the UK. Mike Graham and his friend championed this story as, yes, this is a success of Brexit, the Remainers were wrong, Nissan are staying in the UK, they're staying in Sutherland, this is a success. Now, of course, I respond to this story with another story from Sky News from 2016, uh, sorry, that, from 2019, that was pointing to possible bribery, um, the government paying Nissan to stay in the UK because of Brexit, sort of compensation. Not And many people pointed out correctly, this is not a victory. <laughs> if the company is already here and you're spending 80 million pounds to keep them there, that's not a benefit. You know, it's different if you spend 80 million pounds to get them into the country in the first place. And that was a very valid point that I actually missed out on. Now, Following this, there has, and of course, um, a few days ago, Boris Johnson was, you know, boasting about how this is fantastic. Look, Nissan are going to stay here. Brexit has been a success, uh, if, as long as you ignore all the other things. But to add insult to injury, it seems here that uh, this is from the Northeast Byline Times. It says here, job loss is announced at Nissan, and this is on the 26th of January. So uh, the story says, um, only a few days after stating all was well at their uh, Sutherland plant, Nissan announced today that 160 jobs are now at risk. Um, they confirmed that they are starting a consultation process with office-based staff. Although they said that this, that this would not pro uh, affect production, this news is in stark contrast to the positive statement of last Friday, which led Boris Johnson to boast of fantastic news for the brilliant Nissan workforce. Not so amazing for the office staff, as it turns out. It goes on to say here um, that the MP for Washington and Sutherland West, uh, Sharon Hud uh, Hudson, Hudson, stated that she was very concerned to hear this news and calculated that it would be nearly 18% reduction in the office-based workforce. She also added that um, she had been told by Nissan that these reductions were not related to either COVID-19 or Brexit impacts. However, as discussed in previous articles on this uh, website, they said that, are things really so rosy for the Nissan plant? It's not Japanese corporate culture to rock the boat when politics are concerned. And this is a very valid point that Japanese companies um, very much stay out of politics and they will not mention political parties, not mention political issues at the time. And of course, they would do that. Now, is this down to Brexit? Is this down to COVID? We don't know. Nissan have not come forward and explained this. But people are going to lose their job. Irrespective of this, whether it's Brexit or not, I think it's important that um, the government step in and try to support these people. Unfortunately, I feel many of these will be dumped onto universal credit and um, they will not be protected. Universal credit is not a protection. It's it's a, a sick joke. So I hope that there will be opportunities for these people in the future. Whether this is Brexit, once again, whether this is Brexit or COVID, we don't know. But I do think it is interesting that it has happened just after Brexit. Let me know in the comments section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?